Welcome to the commentary version of Art Gallery with 77 Guards. I want to explain a bit about what was actually going on in that video and show some of the three hours of attempts I'd put in before the final one that you saw. First of all, the pre-planning was three spy cams at the back of the gallery, and the reason I put them at the back was because I already knew it was safe to put your mines at the front of the gallery, so it was more important to have the spy cams at the back, because it was super important that I knew where all the guards were at any given time, so because I could trip mine the front of the gallery it wasn't as big of a deal and the back was more dangerous to like try and get to and play strip mines in, so it was safer just to get the pre-planning. Before I show you my final run though, I want to show you one of my earlier runs. In the earlier runs I wasn't using Yakuza and I didn't have any pre-planning. This meant I spent a lot of time just waiting for guards to move and I had no idea where they were or where they were going. Uh, and the reason that initially I started opening the front doors was because I didn't really have an escape plan if I got stuck in the left holes. Um, the one where in the final video I just like suppress the guards with the judge and then like go back to the toilet. I didn't have an escape plan for that yet and I hadn't really figured out how I was going to get out of there. So my original plan was to just have the front door open and, and run out and hope nobody saw me and it never worked. Um, but like I started noticing that if I opened the door straight away then... Uh, because the way that uh, heavy security works is on security level 10, which is what I was using, it would spawn 10 extra guards for every guard and they would follow the same sort of like patterns. So uh, the 10 extra desk guards would often just get stuck somewhere, uh, somewhere in the front, in like the front room normally. Um, but if I opened the front doors straight away they would normally start walking towards the doors and then get stuck, so they would get stuck in like a really useful place where I didn't have to deal with them. And as I found out in the final run, it also means that guards can leave the building, which was the only time I ever saw that. I don't think I ever saw guards leave the building in any other run, so that was the only time that ever happened and it happened in the most lucky run because there were no guards in my final run at all, like in any building that I went in, like any of the halls that I went into. Um, but you're gonna see the complete opposite of that in this video because it took me like four hours and the first three or so hours was just getting sandwiched by guards constantly from both sides with no way of getting out. Um, the problem with like doing the runs this way or rather like doing stealth with this mod, is that um, a lot of the guards just kind of... As I said, like all the guards are sort of duplicates of the existing guards and they sort of follow the same path so when the original guard goes somewhere, ten other guards will also go that same direction and they all sort of go together. So it kind of just becomes this like giant ball of guards that you have to avoid and if two guards walk into the same hall with different like paths that they're taking and like the paths that each individual guard has are also like slightly different as well, they don't all go to exactly the same place but they go to sort of the same general location. Um, it just becomes like a mess, like it's very easy to just get stuck in between like 20 guards and then not really do anything. That said, there are quite a few places where you can like sit and be generally safe from guards at like most angles, but Art Gallery kind of sucks because there's a lot of places where if two guards walk at you from two different angles, you're just screwed. One of the guards is gonna see you, it's impossible to like get out of that situation um, without killing one of them anywhere or shouting one of them down, but when there's 77 guards it, you can't really shout one of them down and get away with it. You can try to, but it probably will work, and I tried it several times and it never worked. So yeah. <laughs> I haven't really shown enough footage of guards like being everywhere and walking in on me from a bunch of sides yet, so here's just a quick montage of guards being everywhere so that you can sort of get a feel for how bad it actually is because the guards in the final run were really, really nice and just kind of left the hall that I was currently in, but that's not how it normally went. 
normally they would just walk in on me from both sides and it was horrible. So yeah, here's, here's some footage of that. Yeah, it was kind of a mess. By the way, if you ever wondered what was behind the security door because I didn't open it in the final video, in one of my first attempts I thought I might be okay to just take out the camera guy and uh, this happened. I might be able to actually do this then. Holy shit! <laughs> So let's actually start breaking down what happens in the actual run. So the first thing I do is I set myself on fire. If you know the game, if you understand the perk decks, you'll know why I did this. If you don't know the game or you need to the game, uh, basically there's a perk deck called Yakuza that makes you move faster if you're on low health. So I intentionally lowered my health as low as I could just so that I could get faster movement speed because Burglar isn't really useful as a perk deck here. I'm not answering any pages. The only lock that I'm picking is the bathroom door lock, that's it. What other perks does Burglar even give you? Um, I think 10% faster crouch movement speed. I get more than that from Yakuza and I get more than that while standing as well. So I just get higher movement speed overall. The next thing I do is obviously I open the front doors. Uh, this is just so that 
the desk guards can get into a better spot and hopefully become stationary and as it also turned out to let the guards outside later on I honestly don't know how much easier this would have been or how much harder this would have been if that hadn't happened because that was like one entire group of guards that just weren't in the building anymore which is quite a lot because that's 11 guards. Next thing I did was I went and opened the bathroom door, obviously. Very important. I need that to get in and out of the building. I'm, I'm not going to go in through the front door, that would be stupid. And then, as always, because I did this in every run, the next thing I did was I just checked if there are any guards in the hall already. Um, there were, and there were also guards in the hallway, so I couldn't really go in much further than that. So after waiting for them all to leave, I was able to go in, grab a painting. There weren't any other guards in there, luckily, so I was just able to grab it and leave. A very important step that I wanted to follow with was um, placing trip mines in the hole as well. Uh, I already placed the first one when I grabbed the first painting, but I needed to place two more. I needed to place one on the other side of the wall so that I could get people going the, on the other side of the wall. And then I also needed one in the doorway to the back hall. Uh, the reason that I wanted these trip mines was so that I knew exactly where the guards were so I could keep track of where they were at all times because I already had the spy cams, as I mentioned earlier, uh, in the back halls because it's super dangerous to go back there because there's just guards everywhere. It's a lot safer to do the front halls because there's like, I can just duck out into the toilet if I need to. I don't really have that luxury with the back halls because if there's guards going through the toilet area, I'm kind of screwed. I can't just like duck out if I if I could like absolutely need to. Placing the strip mine above the wheelchair was also kind of a pain because it's possible to place it behind the wheelchair and then it just doesn't have a laser and you've wasted a strip mine. Um, this is just kind of a thing that happened a few times because it's kind of hard to like judge exactly how low you can place it sometimes um but i didn't mess it up here again this one is just so i know where people are so that like i know if guards are walking into the main entrance room so that when i'm on the other side of the hall um doing the left like hall layer i don't have to worry about somebody walking up behind me i got kind of worried here when i was actually doing this part of the run because uh, I didn't really want to set off the hand dryer here. Uh, the hand dryer will attract a guard to it and in my experience with this mod that just means one of the 77 guards, not like a whole group of guards luckily, but it, it seems kind of random because I've set it off like a few times intentionally and by accident and sometimes it brought a guard and sometimes it didn't and the thing that worried me was that a guard in the sort of main room started moving, but he was just moving. He wasn't walking to the hand dryer, luckily. So it wasn't really a problem. At this point, I was just double checking the first hall to make sure that I hadn't missed a painting. Um, and I hadn't, but I realized that all the guards were starting to file out of the room. So I decided to try something a little bit risky and it sort of paid off because there weren't any guards here so I was able to place the trip mine in the doorway that I wanted to do which is the reason why I did it. I, I came down into this room to place that trip mine but then I noticed all the guards in the other hall were also filing out so I just had a chance to look around that room and grab a free painting with no consequence at all which is actually a lot rarer doing this than you might think because like, in self normally you don't want to take risks because it just puts the whole thing at risk, obviously it's a risk, but with security level 10 you don't really have a choice, like sometimes you just have to do something risky to even have a chance of finishing it because if you don't, then the alternative is 10 guards walking in on you or having to wait like twice as long for the guards to leave again, which 
you don't really want to do that. You don't really want to spend like 20 minutes waiting for guards again. So you just have to go. You don't really have time to think about what you're doing. Um, and in this case, it paid, it, paid out, it paid off, like I said, because the guards all filed out, they did as I wanted, and I was able to get the pinning out, and then I was able to watch the guards leaving the building, which was a nice surprise, because I don't know like how many times I've even seen this like in regular art gallery, like nobody ever opens the front doors, like you never see the guards outside, so this was just a surprise to me. First hall's done, now it's time for the left halls. The dreaded left halls. I've messed up here so many times and I still had no idea if my plan to suppress the desk guards would even work because I hadn't even like tried it up until this point. Like I had the idea that if I got lucky with like the random desk guards getting stuck at the front door, then I might be able to suppress the desk guards with the shotgun and just leave, but I I hadn't had a chance to test it yet, so this was actually my first try doing that. But the first thing to note is that I didn't mean to fall through the skylight, I just kind of backed up into it by accident and I started falling into it and I sort of caught myself and I was like, actually, you know what, I'm just gonna go down, there's no guards down here yet, I've got a free chance, I might as well take it. So I took it and got paintings out of it. Actually, I got exactly four paintings out of it, which was insanely lucky because they could have just not been there. Um, but even if one of the paintings was in the hall next to it, it still wouldn't have mattered because that hall was empty as well. But yeah, I got the four paintings and then as I was about to leave, I noticed there was a guard so just in the main hall, so I couldn't go through there yet, so I decided to check for more paintings. There weren't any, unfortunately. I would have totally brought out seven if I had the chance, but I couldn't, so... I didn't really want to risk going to the middle hall because all the guards were in there, so I just left and it actually kind of worked. Uh, suppressing the guards with the shotgun. Uh, this is a mechanic, if you didn't know about it. This is a really dumb mechanic. Basically, when you fire a shotgun, there's a chance that enemies will sort of duck down and take cover. This works even if it's suppressed and this works even if it's in stealth. I don't know why, I don't know why they've never fixed this, but it made this possible. Otherwise, I actually don't know if I would have been able to leave the art gallery without being detected. Um, ECMs would have been necessary otherwise and it also, the same bug also makes uh, Rats Day 2 full stealth also possible. Like Rats Day 2 killing all the gangsters and stealing everything back. And that's actually about it. That's pretty much the entire heist from there. It's just moving the bags out and it's done. Uh, in case you're wondering what uh, item I got in the card drop, it was absolute shit. Of course it was. Why would, why would it have been anything good? You never get anything good from it when you actually want something good from it. So yeah. Uh, that was that. Thanks for watching. I'm probably not going to do another video like this because this was a pain to make and uh, I mean I might still do more of like the challenge videos but I probably won't do like behind the scenes like commentary versions of them because this was just a pain and my throat is dead because I haven't like had much to drink and I haven't slept properly. I, I, I probably shouldn't be recording this but I am so yeah I'm probably not going to make another video like this. Thanks for watching. I'm going now. See ya.